Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Reshmi and today I'm going to show you how to make this solid fill hexagon. For this tutorial, I will be using this double knit yarn in blue colour and 5mm crochet hook. So we're going to start off by making a slip knot. To do this, you're going to wrap the yarn around your index finger like this. Pick the yarn on the left, move it over to the right. Let's do this one more time. Pick it off from the left and move it over to the right. But this time slip it off your fingertip. Hold on to these two, pull them down and that creates your slip knot. Put your crochet inside and we're going to tighten it by pulling on to this end. Like this. From here we're going to chain four. So yarn over your crochet and pull through the loop. That's one. Yarn over, pull through the loop two. Yarn over, pull through the loop three. Yarn over, pull through the loop. That's four. Okay. Now we're going to make these cha four chains into a ring. To do this, you're going to put your crochet in the first chain here. Slip it in and yarn over and pull up a loop. Now we're going to make this loop go into the first one that we had on our crochet like this. And that makes your ring. If we pull the stitches apart, you can see exactly where we're going to work our next few stitches. So to start the next round, we're going to chain three. So that's one, two, three and three follow this on with a double crochet to do this you're going to yarn over your crochet go into the center of this ring and pull up a loop yarn over pull through the first two and then yarn over pull through the next two we're going to chain two now and two more double crochets in the same space so yarn over go into the same space again and do two double crochets in this space. That's one. And that's two. As we are making a solid fill hexagon, we are going to have six sides and six corners for this shape. So two of these double crochets are going to make the side and two chains are going to make a corner. So we're going to need six of these all together. So go ahead and do four more of these and meet me back here. I have six pairs of double crochets now with chain two in between all of these. Now I'm going to chain two and connect this with our chain three at the beginning. So let's locate our third chain. That's our first, second, and there we go. There's our third one. Slip your crochet inside this space. Yarn over and pull up a loop. We're going to make this loop go through the first one and that completes our round. Now to start the next round, we're going to chain three. That's one, two, and three. This chain three is a double crochet, which has been done on top of this previous one. Okay, now we're going to yarn over, go to the very next double crochet from our previous round and do a double crochet on top. So slip your crochet in top part of this stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the next two. Now the chain two space from our previous round, we're going to work this with one double crochet, chain two, and one double crochet in the same space, like this. Follow this on with two double crochets on our previous two double crochets. So in the next stitch is one double crochet and one more double crochet at the end in the next stitch as well. We've got chain two space again, work one double crochet, chain two and one double crochet. And just like this, you're going to work all of these stitches and meet me back here. I'm now at the end of this round and I've finished working the chain two space from my previous round. We're now going to connect this double crochet to our chain three space. So that's first chain, second and third one here. Stick your crochet inside, yarn over, pull up a loop, make this go through the first one and that completes this round as well. Exactly like this, we're going to work all of these rounds and make this piece of work as large as you wish to. So each time you're going to start each round with chain three, which is going to be considered as a double crochet on your previous stitch. From here, you're going to follow this on with a double crochet on top of each of the double crochets. So stick your crochet in the next stitch and do a double crochet there. And in the very next one as well, we're going to make another double crochet. After this, we've come across the chain two space, so work the chain two space exactly the same way. And that is by doing one double crochet, chain two, and one double crochet. 
and follow this on with a double crochet in the next four stitches that's one two three four so just like this go ahead and finish this round guys and have as many rounds as you like to make this piece as So go ahead and work as many rounds as you like to get to a desired size. I'm going to work five row rounds of this one and I'll meet you at the end to show you how to weave the ends in. I'm at the end of round five now and I'm going to show you how to work your ends in using a darning needle. So thread your needle with the yarn that's left over and we're going to work this in on the top part of these stitches. So if you put your needle in and out in this format like this, just like this from a couple of stitches and make it go through and pull the yarn through it just pull this back to its original space and go ahead and snip it off if you enjoyed making this hexagon with me make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe thank you